Hi guys and girls. So it's been a quiet last twelve months from my channel. Um, I ain't gonna get in why, but I'm just feeling much better these days. I'm ready to crack on. So I've still got old projects which I will continue. But uh, Glenn and Kirk has kindly sent me their latest truck to uh, do this review and build series with. So thank you Glenn and Kirk for sorting that out. It's rather generous of you. And um, let's see what's in this box. And let's see what this, um, I don't want to spoil it. Some of you already know, some of you do. Some of you, <laughs> some of you will get it from the name. But um, thank you and let's have a see. So I haven't physically took this out of the box yet as such but as you can now see it is the Verkirks Volvo FH750 well it's the FH16 the 750 horsepower model so this is their new release and they've been on with this for quite a few years now it was a crowdfunded project Let's just uh, get this out of its package this is how I've received it. I'll just get rid of this big box. Whew. Now look at that. That is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Now when the new Volvo was actually released as the real truck, uh, I don't know how it didn't take me fancy I've always been a bit of a fan of the FH16 but when they released this version it just I don't know it didn't do it for me and then as time went on it, it really is a bonny truck so let's take a look at the packaging that we received this truck in shall we now then so driver control Delivered with a Servonaut 7.2 engine that guarantees the most realistic acceleration and pulling power performance. Roadability equipped with the renewed rubber Michelin tyres series under licence from Michelin, developed by the Kirk Model Bow, especially for this model. EU or UK driver. EU or UK driver, both left and right and dashboard options are included. Assemble your model according to the traffic directions in your country. Well that's just like a fantastic addition as it is because here in England we receive all these Euro trucks and we have to get custom right and drive dashboards made and things like that. So to have an option and make it realistic to like they say your own country, that's I, I like that idea. It's just something simple. International ride. Build your truck with the help of our extensive construction manual in the Dutch, English and German language. Take a seat. This model has a complete ultra realistic interior which is accurately replicated from the original Volvo FH16. So it's up to you to personalise it. Now, I've been following the Kirk's build process with this truck following on the page and on the YouTube and everything else and I've seen the release when they released it and it's just an absolutely stunning truck so there you get all your dimensions and things like that and what you get in the box so you get the um, FH16 assembly kit and the Servonaut 7.2 electrical engine which would be your motor so you're not getting like a cheap Tamiya can you're getting a Servonaut Multilingual building instruction guide as it's stated back there so it's in Dutch, German and English and there's your support so if you need any help or assistance with this kit or there's any problems you can support at the kirk Netherlands. So it comes in a nice swanky box with the truck on there looking really really good 
and it's suitable for both radio control and static possibilities. Developed and produced in the Netherlands, officially licensed by Volvo Trucks. So this is a fully licensed truck. Ultra realistic Volvo FH16 750 tractor truck model in scale 114th. So, unlike the Hercules hobby and more like the Tamiya, you do receive this in a nice big box. The truck clearly displayed on, so you know what you're getting inside the box. Isn't that just a bonny truck? So now we've got what's on the box out of the way let's have a look what's in the box so like I said this has been QC tested and there it is so it's been factory checked there's your warranty sticker I'm sorry if it's a bit dark the weather is just miserable outside and we don't have the best lighting where we live and the only other lights I have to give off like a yellow glow so well that's irrelevant that's irrelevant so top of the box here you've got their build manual and like I said this is in three different languages So there's some correction updates there so there might be something that's a little different in the manual and this is probably the revised way of doing it so retain that <laughs> so take a little look inside the manual for paint advice electronic advice sticker advice symbol indication so it's basically going through how to work the manual um, there's like your recommended tools so you're going to make sure you've got all them before you start your kit or you're going to start and end up needing stuff so as you can see like straight away from the axle setup it is a much much more detailed truck than Tamaya and it even comes on like a simulation like airbag rather than the leaf springs and stuff which is more authentic and the instruction manual looks pretty relatively easy to go by they've colour coded everything that I presume that you're working with in each part with the green so that's all highlighted that makes it rather simple See now it's getting a bit technical. Well, this is a very, very, very well detailed truck. Look at the dashboard, left or right. And the cabin, bits and bats. That's your part list. So if you're unsure on what parts you should have in there, you can always go through and check everything via your parts list. So the manual there is, um, yeah, that's quite a simple manual to follow. I'll just keep that list in there. I do not want to lose that container of a Kirk sticker. So maybe if you've got one of these and or you're considering buying one of these and you're going to have it in a nice carry case, that'll look good on the box. So. I'm going to go back to here with these little air packets stop things getting damaged and I received this truck in literally a matter of days I think it was about three days so there looks to be like some seats and stuff and things in there The 
roof part. But it all feels like to be out of a sturdy ABS. Again, it's, it's just all detailed very, very well. Just replicated of the real truck. section. A few chrome bits in there which I presume is like the grill stuff like that. Um, dashboard options. We've got right hand drive, left hand drive dashboard options. And there's even a floor plan in the truck. So you ain't gonna be looking down at your electrics or having to build like false walls and things like that or false floors to hide your electrics it clearly comes with a floor plan the details in this truck are amazing I suggest you go on to the Kirk's website or their YouTube channel or even the Facebook page and just scroll back through some of um, the updates and things like that they've been putting on regarding this truck it, it really has been worth the wait Oh, for God, here. some arches, look to be some inner fenders and stuff like that. The kit is complete. I know it's complete. I've been told it's complete. It's been quality control tested. It is complete kit. But uh, we'll just go through, get an idea of what's actually in. So I'm assuming they're going to be like one of your tanks or a Euro 6 tank, something like that. And the air kit. Just for the cab. Right. Looks to be uh, glazing in there. And looking at that. Now, so let's have a little look in the manual. Looking at this, this looks like they might be in cab locker boxes. Do you know, like the lockers you find above the driver's seat in your truck? Yep. Now, I don't know if you can see from this image, as we go through the build series, we'll see it, but just in the top inside there, there's locker boxes. Wow. Again, details. All in the details. Just more tank bits and uh, some arch fenders and stuff like that. Just some other little bits in there in bubble wrap. Just can't quite see those. Window frames, tanks, window wipers. <laughs> they even get Suzy's. So when you're buying like an ordinary Tamiya Scania, and you think of all these extras that you spend your money on just to get your truck up on these kind of details, this truck has it all. Obviously, apart from the additional light bars and. It depends how far you want to go with it, but as a kit build, this is a seriously detailed truck. You know, like your air brake tanks or something, constructing there. It looks to be a, the rear wheels. The axles look a little small, but then I guess they'll be a lot more scaled than the Tamiya axles because when you look at a real truck, the axles look nothing like the Tamiya axles. There's your rear wheels, axles, and in here looks to be part of your front wheels and your front axle. Now on the Tamiya, these are metal. On this they look to be like a strong ABS or fiberglass or something. 
still. There's nothing to stop you though upgrading bits and bobs at a later date or even as you're building the truck up. But with this truck I'm going to be building it exactly just as the kit build shows you. And you guys get to see the Volvo for what it is. There's some decals and bits and bobs in there. Moving to this side. So it looks to be an all plastic kit. I'm not sure what those little bits are, but we'll find out as we progress through the build. Side skirts. And then you got lenses and some steps and things like that. Even the steps are chrome. Headlight lenses and things like that in there. And in this bag, what you? Actually, look like tank straps. That would be like simulated tank straps and some tank brackets. Okay, further down. Now. The chassis rails as well, they look to be in sections like they're going to bolt together to make them longer. But that's a more scale looking chassis, that's actually plastic as well, unlike the Tamaya where they do the metal. But I don't know if you can see it in the packet, that chassis has been stamped and riveted and it, it just looks like a real scale chassis, it just hasn't got holes marked out and it's not a complete straight chassis as well I don't know if you can get the shape of that in the bag but it becomes wider toward the cab end like you would find on a real truck so it's coming up straight and then it flares out a bit and that arcs round so yeah that's your um, chassis bits Wow, door cards. <laughs> Limit it. And curtains. There's even little curtains here that you can stick up on the inside behind your window to simulate curtains. And door cards. And some more bits of your interior in there as well, like steering wheel and your mirror lenses. But. Uh, there's some amber in there and things so in there there's going to be more like tail light lenses I'll just have a little look see yeah there's some more little lenses and things like that in that packet so so far There is a lot to do to build this truck. Now, I'm going to release at least two videos a week on this. Friday being one of the days. See, I've got a new laptop and new editing software. And trying to get my head around that is a nightmare in itself. But we'll get there. Prop shaft, There's all your screw bags, all your screws and everything else. There doesn't look to be many screws in comparison to a Tamiya kit, which many of these are much smaller screws but even still I'll get these all organised into a, 
a little tray for a little screw organising box. Well, with how many screws there actually is, I'm wondering if a lot of this might just clip together. Prop shaft, said that. Um, not sure what's in this. Assuming this might be the uh, servant alt motor. No, they're not. No. The wheels. And they are aluminum. One by the plastic roll. So, I'm wondering if they're going to build up against the plastic bits which we've already seen in there looking at them I'm presuming that's what they're going to do because there's a lip missing on the edge to where the rest of the tyre would go so the wheels are part plastic and part metal more screw bits stuff like that probably parts to work the gearbox Look, pop them back in there and the new tyres now these are made from recycled Michelin tyres Oh, this is a genuine Michelin tyre. It's not just branded with a Michelin badge. It is Michelin rubber. Um, that's the super single for the front. You see it's much wider on there to the rear ones. And they come with a lovely tread pattern. They feel quite nice and soft as well. Very grippy. Very sticky. But yep, they've got all like, the authentic like, bits and bobs on there, around there. You can see. So what do we have there? We have the roof there and inside the roof there's some flat panels there which I'm presuming are the sides of the truck because you don't get a cab to build like you do with the Tamiya one which is like the box section, the main part of the cab. Now I'm presuming that's that makes it easier to go and put all them finer details in like the door cards and your little curtains. But as it goes on, as we go on, we shall find out much more and what's what and how this all goes together. But I just thought I'd show you all the box and do like a little unboxing just to look what's in the box just so you guys yourself can see what you're getting now I know you can't really see because everything's in the packets but I don't just want to muddle everything up pull it all out the bags lay it all out and then lose it so we'll get a little bit organized with this and then we can go through and have a better look at the parts as we start to build it. So, let's get all this lot back in here. Now, I'm honestly not 100% sure what these are retailing at at the moment. I'd be lying if I just told you a price. But, um, can't find out. Uh, with me a mo. So to purchase these direct from the Kirk, they are 800 euros. Now I'm not sure what that is in pounds. I know the pound to the euro is there about. So if you said it was around 750 pound UK and um, dollars, 
Uh, I don't know what that'd be in dollars. You're looking around eight hundred dollars as well, possibly more. But from everything that's in the box and the details that go into making this truck, uh, I'd say it's pretty value for money. Some might say otherwise, but then you buy a Tamiya truck and how much do you spend making that like, more authentic and more realistic and a more scale model. With this Vakur Volvo, you, you receive a scale model, as in down to the details and the nit nitty gritty fine stuff. So, I am like, super can't wait to start this. But, that is the Vakur Volvo. So, I'll drop some links in the description as to where you can purchase this, i.e. the Kirk model bow. And for now, I'll wrap that up. I hope you're all super stoked and excited to see this build. And uh, I hope a lot of you modelers out there don't pass the opportunity and you uh, get yourself the Kirk Volvo. It's a bonny truck, isn't it? So thank you Glenn for the truck and thank you guys for watching and I shall catch you very soon in the next video. So, peace out guys.